today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing <laughs> kind of like a throwback. Sorry if you hate them. <laughs> I had a low buy last year and I did two videos where I talked about, I think it was 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on a low buy. I think the title was like that. And I was like, okay, I can do like a recap if I have buy it, bought any of those things. So I'm going to do with part one today. If you want me to, I can do the same with part two. I will of course leave the video up here where I talk about the things and I have actually bought three of these 10 things. So yeah, I think we just hop in. So okay, the first thing and this, <laughs> if you have followed me since last year, um. I think you are so happy that I stopped talking about this, but now I'm doing it again. The Certify Affinity 2. I were between buying the Oceanic or the Affinity 2 palette, and I bought the Oceanic palette, and I love that palette. It was one of my favorite palettes last year. So this one I don't feel anything for anymore. I am not going to buy it even though I can do it now. I am not going to do it because I don't want it anymore. I am so happy with the Oceanic palette. I don't feel anything, anything for this Certified palette. And that feels really good. So no, I am not buying this. Next up is another eyeshadow palette as well. It is a lot of eyeshadow palettes and it is the Lila palette from Blush Tribe and I wouldn't mind to owning this but it's nothing that I like really really want anymore. If I'm going to buy something from Blush Tribe I maybe put this in my cart but I'm not going to do a purchase just for this palette so I want it, but not that much. I don't know if you get what I mean, but it's not like I want it so, so bad anymore. No, it is a nice palette. I think I would really like it, but I can do without it. And I haven't bought anything from Blush Tribe since... I don't think I bought anything from Blush Tribe last year. No, I think the Paulina palette was the last thing I bought and that was 2018. So yeah, <laughs> no, Lila, I will not buy you. Next up was <laughs> a brush set from the Swedish brand Hiccup. I wanted this so, so bad because so many has talked so good about this and I had a no buy on brushes last year and I do not anymore, so I bought it. Haven't used this though yet. Um, I bought... Ooh. I bought a complete set, so it's, I don't know even how many, 4, 10, 6, it's 10 brushes, yeah, because I really needed 10 new brushes. This has been the brush I have talked so much about. Do you see this wonderful, amazing powder brush? It's so big and fluffy and it's so freaking soft. So I bought this set, I got it home. I think it was maybe two days ago, so I haven't used it yet. So it's, um, I think it's five, five of each. So how am I even trying to hold this up? So it is, Jesus Christ and Mary and Joseph too. How the f fudge. These are the five face brushes and these are five eyeshadow or eyes brush this is a mm, eyebrow brush but yeah these are the brushes and I haven't used them as I said they feel really really soft they smell though a little bit not like bad but almost like glue or something I think my boyfriend thinks that I feel that everything smells like glue but yeah I'm going to use these and I'm thinking about using them in the first get ready with me when I test new products but I bought this and just by looking at them and feeling them I feel happy. Next up is Melt Smoke Session and 
if you have seen the latest, the last video I did and talked about Smoke Session palette, it looks amazing in real life. I was, when I was at Jessica's, I touched it <laughs> and looked at it and everything and it looks amazing. But this weed theme, I, I straight up hate it. Uh, I don't think weed is cool. I don't... I feel nothing for weed. Strange. But I still really want this palette. And <laughs> earlier today I was looking around at Beauty Bay and this is on sale. So maybe I will buy it. <laughs> I can write down here if I bought it or not. I am this close because I know how amazing it looks. And now I have the Vida and Muerte palette. Really like those palettes, so <sighs> haven't bought it yet, but I, I I think it will happen. Then we are coming in to another palette that um, I actually bought, and it is the Secret palette from Nabla. I always want to call this the Secret Garden, but it's the Secret palette. It looks like this when I'm recording this. I haven't tried it yet, but when you see this, I have. Um, this was a sale on Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay's sale is dangerous. I really like it. It looks so, so good. And I think I will love it. <laughs> if I really, really hated it, I will let you know. But yeah, I am so happy that I have it. I'm looking so much forward to use it. So that was that. Then the other thing that I really, really thought I was like going to buy the 1st of January when, when my low buy was over, but I didn't, is the NYX Bear With Me Primer. I have touched this so many times in stores, <laughs> even more now, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I don't really know why, but I still really, really want this one. Maybe I'm a little bit afraid when I finally buy it and try it, maybe I don't like it. Maybe that puts me off a little bit, I don't know, but this one I still want so bad. And someday it's going to be mine. Someday. Then we come into the third thing that I bought of these 10 things, and that is a new Fantastic from Linda Holberg. This I bought in January, so this year, and this is called Red. Called Red, I think it's called like that. I haven't used it yet looks like this. I love Linda Holberg's lipsticks, especially for like everyday wear uh, or when I want something on my lips but I don't have any other makeup. I really really love them and I thought I was going to buy, I miss two of them now. I thought I was going to buy them all but I have swatched the other twos and even though I think it's nice colors, I I don't think I want them. I don't think I will use them that much because it doesn't feel like my kind of colors, if I'm going to be honest. So yeah, but I bought this and I haven't used it this, as I said, but I think I will really like it. I love the formula, so yeah. Another lip thing I really wanted was the red bundle from Jeffree Star. You know me, love my red lipsticks. And I have Red Rum from Jeffree Star. I love that shade. I still want this one and I was planning on buying it, but when I ordered from Beauty Bay... Have I ordered from Beauty Bay this year? Maybe I haven't. But I was planning on buying it and it was out of stock. And I don't know if I will buy it because even me thinks maybe I should take it a little bit slow with the red lipsticks. But I still want it, but I don't know if I'm going to buy it. Does it sound strange? I hope not. And then the last two palettes and <laughs> I was checking my video and <laughs> it almost made me laugh how naive I was. but. I said that I wanted a light, no, it's my pleasure palette and main squeeze from Colourpop. And I said, oh, if I buy these two, I would have them all. 
I am so happy <laughs> that I didn't bought them and that I haven't because now I... <sighs> I don't know what happened. Like the monochromatic palette from Colourpop is just insane. I am so happy that I was on a low buy last year and didn't like buy them all because I don't even know how many they are right now. But they are so many of them and I would never, never ever could have been uh, buying them all. Uh, <laughs> but I liked that I said, yeah, they then I will have them all and then they just went shit hit the fan and it was shit everywhere okay not shit but i hope you get what i mean colourpop has been releasing these monochromatic palettes like crazy this last like six months or something but yeah i haven't bought either it's my pleasure or mean squeeze and now i don't want them because no i don't know why i wanted it's my pleasure because purple and me we're Maybe saying hello to each other, but we're not friends. Not for long. And uh, the main squeeze, I think I have other red shadows already that I really love. So I don't need it. And yeah, that was my was like my recap of 10 things I would have bought if I wasn't on the low buy and did I buy them. Yeah. Um... I really hope you like this video and if you want to do if you want me to do the same thing on my part two I will of course do it. I think this throwback videos are fun. I love to watch other people do them. One thing that I think it's so fun with them is because to see if you have changed your mind. It was a l almost six months ago. So I posted this video and I, it was just fun to like see what I thought then and what I think now. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not, so you don't miss any of my videos. I don't know, do I say it like that? No idea. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!